2020 continues its look at race in our community and how it's affecting the way we get around this region, whether by bus or light rail in the future. Most experts agree Southeast Michigan will never become a magnet for business without some much needed changes. Carolyn Clifford joins us now with some changes that perhaps are not too far off. Carolyn. Oh, let's all hope, Joanna and Diana. Historically, talk of making it easy for people to travel from the city to the suburbs has been a boiling point of controversy. Fears of crime, job loss, and a mix of cultures have been whispered about for years. But today, with the Woodward light rail system on the fast track, there's new hope of bridging the city and the suburbs. With its beautiful design and feel of grandeur, the Rosa Parks bus terminal in Detroit is supposed to represent a triumphant time in history for African Americans. But instead, the Detroit Department of Transportation bus system is known for something else. This is not it. Unreliability and a racial divide between the city and the suburbs. 11 o'clock bus haven't came and the 11.30 hasn't come. Just ask Karen Campbell. She's been laid off since November and relies on DDA to get her everywhere she needs to go. But the wait is exhausting. They're not reliable. They're late. They're not on time. And she's not alone. Have you lost jobs because of the, a late bus? Uh, I, I'm on the verge of losing a job. DDOT, which serves about 100,000 riders a day, is plagued by a lack of funding, which forced the city to cut routes. No one cares, you know. Every day we wait on buses hours and hours, and nothing happens. But the smart bus system, which caters to suburbanites and is more reliable, has its own issues with funding. I think they made the right decision here. Melvin Butch Hollowell is chief counsel for the Detroit NAACP. He's part of a coalition to support mass transit. Why do we have two different bus systems? Yeah, again, we shouldn't have two different buses. They should be merged. I mean, um, SMART and uh, DDOT should be merged. It's always been a question of fiefdoms. I control this, you control that. Uh, but it doesn't make sense in an area that has limited resources. Across the country, the government subsidized is public transportation like buses. In this region, the government is spending roughly 20 cents per person per day on public transit, when most big cities are spending more than double that. I mean, if we have so many riders who need to get on the bus and they're paying to get on the bus, why is the funding so low? Well, funding is definitely the one of the biggest challenges. Megan Owens is the executive director for Transportation Riders United. Founded in 1999, this nonprofit's mission is to improve and promote transit in Greater Detroit. Owens says we need a regional transit authority to oversee all transportation in the region under one roof and a designated source of funding. Most cities have something like um, a half cent sales tax uh, or uh, or parking fees or other. Uh, but in other methods of funding transit, money that goes directly to the transit system. And with the recent announcement of the Woodward Light Rail Project, a nearly 10-mile stretch along Woodward with 19 stops between downtown and the fairgrounds, funding is always a concern. And bridging the gap between the city and the suburbs has always been a point of controversy. What would prevent it from crossing 8 Mile? Politics. You know, that's been the um, magic, unfortunately, dividing line. But a good sign has been that uh, some of the leadership recently uh, of uh, the suburbs in both Oakland and Macomb counties have come forward to say uh, that they believe that it should cross it. What role does race play in all of this? I think it's more of an underlying issue uh, that when you talk about Detroit versus Oakland County, uh, there are a lot of issues there, but one of the underlying issues is always going to be the issue of race. But most experts agree for this region to thrive, attitudes about race will have to change drastically because a better transportation system means access to education, better jobs, and the attraction of new businesses. In order for Detroit to be a world-class city, it has to have a world-class transportation system. That's just the bottom line. And that's what big cities do.
So we'd like to know what you think about all of this. If Detroit had an improved mass transit system, would you use it to go between the city and the suburbs? Go to Detroit2020.com or our Facebook page and let us know what you think. And I mean, when you think about it, Chicago, New York, Boston, any big city really has a world-class transportation system for everyone to travel from the city to the suburbs and back and forth. We need it here. For work, for fun, for everything. And we for everything. Have it. We do yeah. need it. Got Absolutely. a lot of work to do. And to connect. Yeah, Absolutely. To connect and the to cultures, connect. right? All right. Thank you, Carolyn. Thank you.